Good morning and blessings to everybody as we uh, gather for our prayer service this morning. Uh, just before we begin, I'd like to remind everybody that uh, this weekend is uh, not only going to be Pentecost Sunday, where we celebrate the Holy Spirit manifesting himself among the disciples and then uh, all the gathering of the the, well, we, the, the first uh, group of Christians in, in uh, Jerusalem, um, but it's also going to be uh, our Confirmation Sunday where uh, a couple of our young ladies are going to be uh, 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 going through the, the rite of confirmation and, uh, and uh, proclaiming publicly the, the faith that had been given to them in their baptism. And I, I want to encourage everybody to come and join us and support uh, those, uh, those young ladies as uh, they continue their walk in faith. And may the Lord bless you all, and let's be, go ahead and begin our, uh, op our, our morning prayer service. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Verses from Psalm 78. The Ephraimites, armed with a bow, turned back on the day of battle. They did not keep God's covenant, but refused to walk according to his law. They forgot his works and the wonders that he had shown them. In the sight of their fathers, he performed wonders in the land of Egypt and the fields of Zon. He divided the sea and let them pass through it and made the water stand like a heap. In the daytime, he led them with a cloud and all the night with a fiery light. He split rocks in the wilderness and gave them drink abundantly as from the deep. He made streams out of the rock and caused waters to flow down like rivers. <laughs>
mercy. O Christ, have mercy. O Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Let my cry come to you. In the day of my trouble I call upon you, for you answer me. Hide your face from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me with a willing spirit. Because your steadfast love is better than life, my lips will praise you. For you have been my help, and in the shadow of your wings I will sing for joy. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Unite my heart to fear your name. I give thanks to you, O Lord my God, with my whole heart and I will glorify your name forever. May all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. May those who love your salvation say evermore, God is great. Save your people and bless your heritage. Be their shepherd and carry them forever. Give ear, O Lord, to my prayer. Listen to my plea for grace. Almighty God, Heavenly Father, your mercies are new to us every morning, and though we in no wise deserve your goodness, you abundantly provide for all our wants of body and soul. Give us, we humbly pray, your Holy Spirit, that we may heartily acknowledge your merciful goodness toward us, give thanks for all your benefits, and cheerfully serve you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord God, Heavenly Father, in holy baptism you began your good work in our catechumens, and you have blessed their instruction and training in your word. We implore you to pour out your Holy Spirit on their hearts and minds so that they will truly love and revere you, confess the faith with joy and boldness, endeavor to live according to your commandments, and praise and glorify you as their faithful God and Lord. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Heavenly Father, you would not have us grieve as those who have no hope, but rather you call us to live in confidence that all who die in faith are with you in everlasting life and eternal peace. By your word and spirit, strengthen people in the knowledge that their loved one is at home in your heavenly kingdom. Give them courage to walk by faith that until the day when all who belong to you will be reunited around the throne of the Lamb, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. 
I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul, and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.